sunrise hike you go up in the dark and at the top you hit the sunrise we're gonna be setting out at 3 a.m. today this peak is just a little bit higher than the previous video I did which was Mount Timpanogos but it's a shorter hike and less elevation gain it's about nine and a half miles there and back just over 3,000 feet in elevation I ran 20 miles yesterday and I am pretty sore We'll see how my legs do. All right, we just got to the trailhead and I am so excited about this hike because there are no cars. That means no people. There's about a 45 minute really windy road to get here. I think that probably deters a lot of people. So it's pretty far away from any um, large city. Hopefully this will be a hike that's off the beaten path. There is almost a full moon and so I don't think I'm gonna use a lamp. Your eyes can adjust to the dark pretty darn well. So we are on a pretty steep trail and from everything we've read and from everyone we've talked to, it just gets steeper. We've only got a half mile left and from the looks of it, it's gonna be awesome. These ridges are just so beautiful. Someone mentioned there are some goats up top, but I think we're the only goats on the mountain, huh? The greatest of all time. That's what it makes you feel like. Ooh, and look at the mist in between those mountains. That is so pretty. This is the second hike in about two weeks that I've done without kids. Shedding 30 pounds makes it a lot easier. I think I'm gonna try to follow this little ridge here. That's what I did it while hiking Mount Temp, and it seemed a little bit easier. But this rock must be limestone or something? Shale. Or shale, so it breaks a little bit easier. Dr. Andrew Thorne and I have just been talking about life. The legacy. And the legacy. Yeah, this shale sucks. <laughs> Try to hike on, huh? You won't be taking this for granted. <laughs> I think that's the first pun we've made. The scene behind you, pretty amazing. Woo! You know, it is hard to look out there and not just be happy. This is the peak here, and there are trails all throughout this ridge. And I'm just trying to stay as close to the ridge as possible. It's not super easy, but feels like the, the footing is a lot better, and you're not dipping and climbing and dipping and climbing. Let's see if I can get there. Ooh, look at that rock slide. Real hot when the sun comes out. 
You can see Utah Lake right here. Mount Timpanogos over here. There's the peak. This sunrise is breathtaking. Oh, the sun is just topping the mountain right now. Oh wow, yeah, this is there's no trail over here. There's no trail. I think you just scramble up the rocks. Which is my kind of trail. Well, the sun is coming out and I think it is going to be a hot day. I'll probably be shedding these layers pretty soon. We're getting to follow this ridge on our way down that's pretty jagged. The hard part about this trail is you've got 15 different paths you can choose and about half of them lead you astray. So I've just been following the, the ridge the entire time and it's been pretty good. But like, as you can see right here, You've got a path over here, you got a path over there. 
And you've got a path down here. He's on a different path. It's, it's a little hard. You have to backtrack a little bit here and there. Ooh, but look how the light hits those ridges over there and captures the green. Beautiful. Same thing with this side over here. Look at that. Look at that. So now we go down this little face and we follow this trail that goes all the way across the ridge here. And then it cuts across and goes down. Can we just take a second to look at all of these beautiful flowers? All God's gifts. So that is the peak we were on. 